Okay, we're now going to focus on animating the hair for this character. Now, this character has different hairstyles. Um, one of the hairstyles, um, alright, so she has to turn on, you have the hair cap layer. You can turn on the hair cap, so this will provide her with a hair cap. And um, she has ponytails. So she has a single ponytail and what I will be doing, I will be animating the single ponytail which is, so to turn on the single ponytail layer, you turn on this layer and you can see that the single ponytail appears be, behind her. Now we will be utilizing the principle of secondary action to have the hair flex. Um, I'm going to show you the other hairstyles which she has as well. She... We, you can also put on a hair original band and you will get a little styling at the beginning of the hair. That is optional. Um, if I turn this off, so I'm going to turn off that. We have um, two ponytails. If we turn that on, it brings on these two ponies. So this, this is quite um, very challenging, but if you feel like challenging yourself, it's just a matter of understanding the principles of secondary action. Once you understand the principle of secondary action, you can animate it. So if you feel like challenging yourself, you can animate the double ponytail. Alright, I'm going to turn that off. I want to show you another hairstyle. It's on the long hair layer. Turn that on. She will get this hairstyle. Now how this hair operates it, is that it has the H as the control curves and you can rotate them as well as move them so that's how it is. so we'll have one h over here that we can manipulate we can manipulate this other control over here we can rotate and we can move and finally there's one behind here which we can rotate and move as well so i won't be animating this i will be animating the um single ponytail which has this here so, um, we have this diagram here which showcases how the hair would operate. Um, now, I don't recall um, providing this reference material, but if you want, I can show you how to get it on the internet. So, what you would do, you would go to Google, type in um, Richard Williams. walk here and you go to images and you'll see the image on the internet so that is one way in which you can get the image but i have it here in photoshop and this is a good guide as it relates to animating the breast and animating the hair movement now you will notice that when she's in the down position you realize that the hair is moving upwards when she's in the passing position here the hair goes down. So in, in essence, when she's up, the hair goes down. When she's down, the hair goes up. For this, I will be utilizing the step position because the step position is the highest point. So I'll be using the down position to put the hair up and I'll be using the up position to put the hair down. So let's look at our character rig and um, incorporate that principle. So um, the down position, uh, alright, so I can keyframe the first key pose. Uh, the, 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 how to operate the hair. We can operate the, the, the hair by use of, we have this control here, this, that controls the movement like this. Um, and the hair has a lot of flexibility. We can have this control right here to control that. We can control the tip right here. That, that controls the extreme tip. And we can control this movement as well. What I'll be I can I'll be I tend to utilize this, this, and this one. That usually does the trick. So I'll be showing you how I animate the hair. So what I'll be doing, I'll be creating because I, I don't have any keyframes on it on the, the hair. So I'll start off with creating a keyframe for it on frame one. And her down position is on frame five. So remember when she's on the down position. The hair goes up. So we're going to 
grab the base of the, the hair and rotate it up like that. And notice that the, the auto key, we've seen that I created the first keyframe here. The auto key will kick in and store the keyframe. I'm going to flex this middle part here up and then this part up as well. So we'll have the hair in that position. If we transition between the two, we can see the hair is, um, when she goes down, the hair goes up. Now the next one that we'll be focusing on is the one at frame 13 because this is the up position. Now the up position is the highest point in the walk. So that is why I chose, chose the up position. And plus we will have more distance between the keyframes from frame 5 to 13. If I had used the passing position, it would have been 9 to 5. That would have been a difference of 4 frames. That would be a shorter distance. But if I use 13, it will have a better transition between the, the poses. So in this pose, the hair is going to be down. You notice that the hair is down. So I'm just going to pose the hair in the down position. Grab this part here and have it down like that. That's in the down position. Now I'm going to go. So the next pose that happens is the, the, the contact pose at 17 but we're not going to put the other one there we're going to go to frame 21 because at frame 21 is when we meet up on our next down position and remember when we are on the down position the hair goes up similar to if I, if I go back to frame 5 notice that the um uh, the hair is like this when she's in the down position going back to frame 21 we're going to pose the hair so i'm at the base of the hair rotate it up like that Grab the middle control, rotate it like that, and grab the end control and rotate it like that. So we get the hair in an up position like that. The next key pose would be the passing right there at 25, but we're going to go to frame 29, which is the up position. And remember, on the up position, her hair goes um, down. So we're going to pose the hair in the down position pose the hair like that so let us see what we have so far press the play button all right what i would do at frame 29 at 33 let's see what's here i'd probably have the hair kind of coming up a little bit so it creates a little bit more dynamic not too much but a little dynamic let's see how that looks the nice secondary action on the hair and so you get the secondary action on the hair so we have the head nod movement and we have the hair Rotate um, the hair, the secondary action on the hair. 